ridiculous proceedings? The U.S. Department of Defense holds something called the Nuclear Posture Review. It's a legislatively mandated review that establishes U.S. nuclear policy, strategy, capabilities, and force posture. All of the Department of Defense suits get together and say serious things at each other that are all abstract and ultimately meaningless. So posturing is indeed a great word for it. The 2010 report from the Nuclear Posture Review focused on, quote, providing a roadmap for implementing President Obama's agenda for reducing nuclear risks to the United States, our allies and partners, and the international community. As the president said in Prague, a world without nuclear weapons will not be achieved quickly, but we must begin to take concrete steps today. Ready for the concrete steps Obama just took in his pledge to reduce his stockpile of nuclear weapons? Sinking over $10 billion into upgrading his existing B-61 nuclear bombs. It's so ridiculous, you can't make this stuff up. A few years ago, Obama made a big stinking lie of a pledge to help rid the world of nuclear weapons. Now he has a new plan to upgrade nuclear bombs the U.S. has stored in Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany, Italy, and Turkey. The new plan is to add tail fins to almost 200 B-61 gravity bombs. That would turn 200 of our nuclear weapons into guided weapons, making them much more reliable and accurate nuclear killing machines. According to Hans Christensen, a nuclear weapons expert at the Federation of Nuclear Scientists, there's a big danger in giving these weapons more accuracy. Now, the U.S. can target precisely enough to where it can control the radioactive fallout. So they don't just have to bomb the crap out of an entire region, they can pinpoint the spot they want to bomb to smithereens with minimal fallout to surrounding regions. This makes the bombs more usable. So apparently Obama intends on seeking, quote, the peace and security of a world without nuclear bombs, by spending billions of dollars to turn old bombs into much more usable nuclear weapons that stealth aircraft can deliver. Why is the U.S. spending over $10 billion to refurbish nuclear weapons, you ask? It's not to protect itself from North Korea, a country the size of Mississippi. Anyone with half a brain can figure out that the U.S. already has enough weaponry to wipe North Korea off the map. The only thing the U.S. is protecting itself from by spending billions of dollars on nuclear weapons is the wrath of senators with vested interest in the military-industrial complex. This doesn't come down to security, it comes down to money. Loda! You see, the bombs are being redesigned to fit into aircraft designed by Lockheed Martin, who spent over 15 million bucks lobbying last year. And Boeing won the contract to add the tails onto the bombs. They spent over 15 million on lobbying last year too. It's not a security decision, it's a business one. So while President Obama says nice things about making the world nuke-free at fancy podiums, you continue to give billions of your tax dollars to weapon-making companies, Americans. There. Don't you feel safer? Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.